So I set a personal goal for myself. And that was to reach 25 subscribers on YouTube. And tonight, I have reached 25 subscribers. So I just wanted to make a short video. And I wanted to thank each and every single one of you who has clicked on my videos and takes the time to watch them and who, you know, likes and comments and uh, definitely, definitely, definitely the people who have subscribed to me. Happy Halloween! The poop, the poop is pooping. Ooh, it did. So it's not exactly how she had it, but... What do y'all think? I had to modify it because I couldn't get it to work the same way that she did. So, this is what I look like, which is way better than what the other one was, and this is what it's supposed to be. So, I mean, it's different, and as you can tell, I probably could have raised this up still even more, and if I had, I probably could have gotten it over, but it didn't curve as much as hers is curved. So, I don't know if she, like, started it, and then she stopped, and then did another piece, um... But yeah, I think I did such a better job on this one. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving! Nala. Ready? Nala. Alright. Poor Charlie. Sorry about your prinklings on your fingers. Happy Easter. We're coloring eggs today. Just to give it that overall more bacon flavor. So put what you want on it. Do you normally put cheese in the mint in there? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and put some onions. Now we're gonna add the meat and beans together. So he's gonna, in case you didn't hear him, I'm gonna move the add the beans to the meat because I don't want no beans. How much cheese do you normally add? Mm -hmm. That's good. If that's However much you want. Oh, I I and ever that I've done this where the water was still warm when I went to mix the dough. Your hands are going to look like a cake monster, but that's okay because... Letters, and then you have this little time thing, and basically whatever letter you roll, 
you look at the list and you have to figure out what like in the category that you look at you have to start with that letter and then you write it down and then you have these nifty little boards so that we can't see each other's thing and then judging off of your paper you decide where you want to go on the board. So if I have it marked off, then I want to go somewhere that I don't have it marked. Is that what you're saying? You can, but if you want to throw everyone else off, you can also go to some place that you do have marked off. Mm -hmm. Like, say, say you know who it is and where, but you don't know the weapon. So you can go to where you think it is with who, but then you can bring the weapon that you're questioning mm -hmm. to figure out. Because you already know two of the three answers, but we don't know that you know the two of the three answers. So, it's just kind of like a guide, I guess. Where's the door? The door is right here. He is in the office. But where did that come from, though? I don't like that. order for them to get into the room even if they pushed it someone would have to have closed the door in order for that you know to keep them in there because we had noticed a couple times that she would go in there and the cats would come running out or whatever so she was convinced that someone kept letting them in there and for a call from the doctor's office because i have this you know head to toe rash going on and it's really itchy and i you know, I just feel like crap, and I don't know why. And, you know, she was, her first thought was, you need to go home. Do you, do you, I need to send you home? And the higher up guy, I kid you not, while doing the dishes, step, takes a step back, looks at her, and goes, oh no, she's fine. She can stay here and work. I've had a rash or an allergic reaction like that before, and I was just she fine. Come back pregnant, but if she does, I didn't want her to be with an alien. I wanted her to be with a vampire, so that I can have a mermaid vampire sim. Although an alien mermaid, that'd be pretty interesting. Would it have two forms, or would it have three? Oh, that'd be interesting. If you know the answer to that, drop me a comment. But yeah, so um, the girl, let me attempt to say her name, call a menu, ooh, Lana, K-A-L-A-M-A-I-N-U, apostrophe U, spacebar, I-O-N-A. Kalama Kalama Inu. Ooh. I don't know. It's really like the day, the day we were going to go and sign the lease and give them the the money in advance or whatever. To it was either to hold the apartment or to start the process of us moving in and she messaged me and Rose told me that she couldn't do it. She wasn't in a place. She wasn't ready. And so she backed out of it. And I was like... I was I was severely hurt by it. I was like, you know... And I we kept our backyard pretty clean because we had dogs. Well, we had a dog. And it's just kind of gross to walk through the backyard with, you know, all that on there. And there were other times where, like... My sister's room was, like, right across from mine. When my room, because this is the room that's down the hallway. Like, you go. So, like, down literally, the hallway and it's... her. We at different points had the same room. So, 
the same room that I was just talking about that I had is the room that she ended up in. And then my room, so this is her room, and my room was literally right here. Um. You know, I contemplated making this video because God, I'm so upset. Usually when I do these videos, I got, um, I got my blanket and I have Oreo laying with me. I wanted to wait until I wasn't going to cry, but every time I get off the couch, I cry. So, um, you get me crying. We have, um, followed, you know, a little bit of Oreo's journey, um, because I've posted about him and he's been in several of my videos. And I know in one of them I talked about how he wasn't doing so very well and how I really wanted to um, try to raise money in a, a GoFundMe thing for him because the vet wanted a thousand dollars down to be able to, you know, do. It's been nine days since my little baby passed away. They were not able to go and get him yesterday. So I went with my dad today. And the first thing I'm going to show you is this baggie of a paw print. And I'm never going to take it out of the baggie because some of his little hairs are in there. But it's a mold of his paw print. And I literally, like, started crying at the vet when I saw it. Like, I could not contain myself and by request because I would also like to get a tattoo and I have always wanted you know this on me was his paw print They gave me three. He was so little. I wanted to record on my laptop because I know that I tend to have funny reactions to, like, Minecraft, but after installing the stuff that I needed to install to be able to make my videos, um, it told me that I needed to update my laptop. So I got to do that, and I have, I, I had 18 stuff that I needed to update. One of them I could do for free. The other stuff, I can't because I need money to do that. So, um, not that I'm starting uh, orientation on Tuesday, I believe. Uh, also, my videos, like the longer videos, takes 10 hours to upload. So I've been kind of like 
down about recording because it takes so long to record or to have it upload when usually it only takes two hours telling me three days ahead so I was three days ahead and then I found out that my grandfather passed away and we had to come to California for his funeral and that we were gonna be out here in California because that's where I'm at now for a week So now I know how to, to record and everything. So my video camera is supposed to come with a microphone. So I'm, I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. And I'm going to unbox my camera because I know that I've mentioned it a couple times. And I don't know if you guys are excited about me getting it. <laughs> so I set a personal goal for myself. And that was to reach 25 subscribers on So, I just have a few of you that I would like to thank. Okay guys, so my mind is absolutely blown and I'm like so excited. I mean, have you seen the beginning of this video? Where I'm dancing. So I kind of made like some notes here um, of points that I wanted to make sure that I talked to you guys about in this very exciting video. So, I am not as emotional in this video as I was in my 25 subscriber video. Why? It's not because I'm not appreciative. Because, oh my gosh, let me tell you, I was so excited when I looked at it. I was going on YouTube for something and I don't remember what it was and I saw the number. And it was at 48 and I got really, really excited and I showed my friend, like I took a, a, a screenshot of it and I sent it to her and I was like, oh my God, look. And then I kid you not, not five minutes later, I went back on there to do something and I saw 50 subscribers. So I got like, oh my God, I'm so, so freaking excited. I'm not as emotional because I'm so excited and here, if this doesn't show you my growth, in the beginning, I was so unsure about myself. I was like, I don't think people are going to want to watch my videos. I don't think that people are going to want to subscribe to me or like my channel or leave me any type of comment or anything. I don't think people are going to be interested in seeing me. And I was getting myself down and I didn't, I didn't think that... I would be able to do it. I didn't think that I would go anywhere. Um, and so it took me a long time to even put my first video out there. And as you saw in the beginning of this video, I manned up and I built up all of the courage and all of the confidence that I needed and I put out my first video. And I did not think that I would make it to five subscribers and then to hit 25 subscribers like that was a moment for me where I was like oh my gosh I can do this so hitting 50 subscribers I knew that I could do that I knew that if I can hit 25 subscribers I knew that I could hit 50 and 
through my good times and my bad times and the holidays and the stories and all of the things that you've seen here today in this video so far leading up to this moment to my speech to you guys I've come into the realization that I can do whatever I set my mind to and if I want something I have to be able to go out and get it and so I knew that I could do it I knew that I could reach 50 I just didn't know when that was gonna happen and when I hit 50 oh my gosh I was so excited and I just, I am f so full of thankfulness for each and every single one of you who have pressed the subscribe button, who presses my videos and watches them, whether that is a couple seconds of the video or half the video or even all of the video, you're coming to my channel and I appreciate that and I appreciate you and I appreciate every single one of you who has hit that subscribe button and has subscribed to me and been a part of my 50 subscribers. like and it's not even that that makes me excited as well because being a part of the 25 sub area a lot of those people i know like on a personal level so there's a difference between knowing the people who are subscribing to you and then getting to a point in your channel where you don't know the people who are subscribing to you and here's the difference if you don't know when you know the people who are subscribing to you it's almost like an obligation like you're my sister so I kind of expect that you're going to support me and subscribe to my channel so that subscription is from my sister or I'm one of five siblings so in my head okay five of those people could possibly and potentially be my five siblings I would expect that those people would show that support and and you know hit the uh, the subscribe button I don't necessarily have to reach too far to grab their attention because I'm related, I'm their sister, you know, whatever, or like a friend or another type of family member, uh, member or like someone who maybe is associated with my sister and she or he wants to show support to me as well because of the, you know, the circle, the, the, the group that I know, the people that I know and who like me and who want to see me do good you know what i mean like i hope i'm making that clear but then when you get to people who you don't know you've never met in your life you have no type of connection to that's where it starts to show you that you're reaching out to people that you're actually making it to the screens of people that you don't know and they're taking the time out of their day to watch you and that is what makes me so excited because I do not know anymore every single one of my subscribers and to me that is such a huge like confident boost yes there's gonna be people who dislike my videos and some people have and that's fine I'm not faced by that not everybody's gonna like all of my videos and I understand that I, and I would like to go into this whole journey knowing that and knowing that I'm doing the best that I can and that I'm constantly doing things to better my channel and to get better and to improve and to grow and I'm taking like the constructive criticism that people around me are giving me and I'm using that to shape who I am in my YouTube channel and to shape my videos and to make them better and that is just you know that's just a stepping stone right there like improving yourself i am having so much fun coming up with content i'm having so much fun recording and you know yes i hit those moments where i'm not feeling the recording i'm not feeling the ideas i'm not feeling like i have enough time to be able to do what i want to do and the resources and all this but it's not about how many videos that you can put up it's about the heart and about the amount of time and effort that you put into one single video to make it the best video that you can make it. And I know that some of my videos have just been thrown together and it's very obvious that they were just thrown together and people reacted to them. And then I have other videos that I tried a lot and I was able to do it. Like, oh my gosh, if you have seen my Bendy and the Ink Machine 
series so far and I'm still up by by the time you see this and this video is going up I'm still in the middle of putting out those videos and you can see my growth in my channel just by watching that series alone like I started out with just my phone I didn't have anything to hold my phone up I didn't have anything to to edit out things that I didn't want in there like literally my first few videos my face is like right here in the screen and for my sister and I re-watching those videos after I've uploaded them and made them public to everyone that's what was funny and I kept those in there even after having the ability to edit that out because that shows me as a growing channel that shows me and kind of like the behind the scenes kind of like the little bloopers and I don't have much of those because of, you know, obviously I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not at the top of where I could be. I still do have room for improvement and room to grow. And, you know, I still have other ways that I can like do better things and be able to, I don't know, what's the word? Like I don't have an area right now that I can hold all of the footage that I've ever created and can just go back and look at all of the things that I edited out I only have the stuff that I have in the videos and to make this well that that was something that I didn't know that I could do and then after I learned how to do the thing that I did to make this video today I'm feeling pretty proud of myself so I don't know I'm just like I'm overwhelmed with joy and I cannot wait to continue making more content and making more videos for you guys to see and I'm forever so grateful for each and every single one of you who have come to my channel and watched my videos who are liking commenting and definitely to my 50 subscribers like oh my god I thank you so much so in my 25 subscriber video I talked a little bit about how that was my first goal that I wanted to set for myself it's not like a YouTube goal so I'm not getting like anything from YouTube for hitting you know that and I'm not getting anything from YouTube for hitting this either it's a personal goal that I set for myself and that goal is just going to keep getting higher and higher and higher the more I keep reaching my goals so you know in the beginning I didn't think I was going to make five and I did and I made I so I was like if I can hit five let's go to 25 I just I want to see if I can do that and I want to see if I can get to where my friends are and feel like I can get there too. Like, I like this person, they're my life, we're friends, whatever, they're doing really good on their channel and I want to be at their level. So let me set my own goal to be where they're at, to be at a place that puts me further in the, in you know, forward and in my journey and let me explore and be right up there, you know? and 25 came and gone and I was like 50 I want 50 to be my next goal and I promised you guys in my last subscriber 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 video that I would do another one when I hit 50 subscribers and that is this video I have hit 50 subscribers now I want to make two goals I want to be able to hit 75 subscribers but I don't feel like that is high enough. I feel like I need to push myself a little bit more because I know I can get 75. But the question is, can I get 100? Can, I've done 50, so what's another 50? You know, I've, I've reached 50 before, so can I get 50 again? So, at this point in time, I'm thinking, let's go 50. 50 is my next goal. What? No. 100. 50 more. Let's get 50 more. But 100 is going to be my next goal. I'm going to celebrate when I get to 75. Yes, I'm going to be really excited and oh my god. And I might make a small little video, but it's not going to be that huge. It's not going to be like its own little thing. But 100. And right now I'm thinking when I hit 100, why don't I do something? Do something... Like that I'm telling you right now that I'm going to do and that when I get to that point, you can see it at that point or, you know, whatever. And right now I'm thinking of some sort of 100s challenge. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I don't know if that's actually what I'm going to do. Um, 
you know, throughout from 50 subscribers to 100 subscribers, you guys can let me know down in the comments what you would like to see me do when I reach my 100 subscriber goal. And I will take all of that into consideration and I will figure something out. And when I hit 100, we're just going to go for it and we're going to see what I can do at 100. So I just, I want to thank you again for all of your love, all of your support, all of your feedback, all of your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. Like it means so much to me and you guys have helped me see the power that I have in myself and that I can do it and that I can move forward and I can set goals and I can reach those goals and it's helping me be more confident. So with that being said, I'm going to list all of the links from the videos that I have showed you today in this video in the description below. So if you would like to check out those the full videos of all of these uh, clips, you can check down in the comments below, not in the, <laughs> not the comments, the description below um, to go and check out those videos. Uh, thank you so much again for helping me get to 50 subscribers. I'm so forever thankful for you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!